If you're marathon training, you need to find a way to fuel your runs. Ryan, I've got just the thing for you. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to 40 Runs. If this is your first time at 40 Runs, smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join our Facebook runner community and check out the links below. Some cool things down there and everything I'm going to be talking about today is all linked up down there. So check it out. Right, so marathon training, you need to fuel your runs. I've been sent some wicked things, so let's get stuck in. So guys, active root sports drink, right? Now this stuff is awesome. Now this is ginger based, uh, it's all natural, it's vegan friendly and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and basically you're dropping this into water, mixing it up and drinking it. Now, just to give you the ins and outs, I'm gonna read this off the back. This contains natural root ginger, helps to deliver a calmer, more balanced stomach that can enable better fueling and hydration leading to improved sports performance. So there you go. Now, I've been sent three flavors. Uh, they kind of, uh, they do different things uh, and you're meant to um, kind of take them at different stages. Um, so I've been out, I've tested these and this is how I got on. Right guys, so I took these out on a run. I've done two runs. I did a 20K and a 21K. Um, now I've got the leaflet here uh, and this is what was sent to me. So I did exactly what it says on here to give it a proper test, right? So before I went out, an hour before I went out, I took one of these, which is the green tea one. I mixed it up with 500 mils of water and it was all right actually. It just tasted like cold tea. Um, I mean, they're not the not the nicest thing, it was a bit harsh, but um, you know, sweet things are obviously nicer, right? But I drank it an hour before, uh, and the reason I, it says on here, it, drink one active root unit if you're worried about nausea, nervous before race, or you don't want to take a bottle with you, right? So I drank that an hour before I went out. Um, I didn't have any problems, right? It didn't it give me any stomach issues during the hour before I went out and, and when I went out, right? So that was fine. Um, just make sure you give enough time, so if you need a wheel, things like that. But that was fine, so I took that one out before I went out. Out of my run, I said I did the, the 20, 21K runs. Um, halfway into my run, I started consuming this, uh, which is the original ginger flavor. Again, it's an acquired taste. It's not, <sighs> I don't wanna do them uh, uh, any uh, unkinds here, but it wasn't the nicest tasting thing I've ever had, right? You know, gels are sweet uh, and they're full of sugar and things like that. Um, but yeah, it was all right. Okay, it was all right. It was, as I say, it wasn't the best thing in the world, but it was all right. Now. Um, this is basically, uh, the reason that it's ginger and everyone's promoting the ginger is because it's meant to be easier on the stomach. Now there's something on here that I want to read to you. Uh, during exercise, the stomach can become unsettled due to consumption of high GI rich foods. This can prevent subsequent fueling leading to muscle cramps and the dreaded bomb. Now that's a really good point, right? And that's why natural stuff, and particularly this ginger thing, that's why I wanted to try these out. Um, it really, uh, I noticed a, not a pickup, but I definitely noticed that I taken it, and I said I had no stomach issues with this whatsoever. Um, and I didn't. I only took one uh, because I say I was only doing 20k, right? So I only took one. Then when I got home, I had the peppermint and oh, peppermint and ginger one, <laughs> um, which was pretty cool. Now. The reason I took this one, because it said after on here, right? So, uh, straight after is the key time to recover efficiently. Active root helps settle your stomach after intense exercise, as well as keep into to hydrate and refuel. Now, usually when I get home, I take another product. Now, you hopefully seen the video on that, and I take something else. But I took one of these um, when I got home. Again, I mixed it up with 500 mils of water. And it's probably the best tasting out of the three. Um, now, you've got, you've got, not like ginger, but, if you can tolerate ginger, you're gonna really get on with these products. But um, this is probably the nicest one out of the three of them. Um, I took this, and again, I noticed a, um, now, what's the best way to say it? I, I wouldn't say I noticed a massive uh, a pickup in my recovery or anything like that, but I wasn't tired, uh, and I didn't notice that I was feeling knackered after my run. That's probably the best way to ex explain it. So, I took that as well. Now, the rest of the day, so after consuming these three things uh, before, during, and after my run, did I have any uh, stomach issues? No, I did not. Did I have any bloating? No, I did not. Uh, were they repeating on me? No, they weren't. Um, did I feel, did I feel like, yeah, they, they, were, they were quite nice. They, it wasn't like with gels, you know, you're taking that big gulp of stuff and you're taking it in. These things, they were pretty cool and I think actually I'm going to use these uh, during marathon training because I definitely noticed that my stomach, even though my gels that I take are natural based, you know, and I, and I keep going on about the humor gels, 
Um, these things really, I, I did notice the fact that I didn't have any issues with my stomach. I'm hydrating at the same time, which is cool. So I'm not taking a gel and having a drink. Uh, I'm doing basically the two things at once. So yeah, they kind of answered uh, a, a question that I was having, which was um, having to take water out with me and, and gels out with me and stuff like that. Making these up beforehand, I was able to consume these. I didn't have to muck about with gels. And my stomach, I had no problem. So, to conclude guys, if you're looking for a way to fuel your mouth and training, and you're worried about your sensitive stomach or something like that, or taking gels and water and all that sort of stuff, check these things out. They are awesome, I could totally recommend them. Links are below, and that's it from me. So don't forget as usual, hit that subscribe button, check out the links like I said below, get over to our Facebook page and join our Facebook running community, and I'll catch you later.